Next, we have um, Bevan Dooley from Batola. Please welcome Bevan to the second. Two minutes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your attention this evening. Um, I actually see a lot of familiar faces in the audience. Uh, some of you may remember me from my previous role. I used to head up the ASX listed Australian Motors Group. Uh, anyway, I'm with Batala. Batala was formed drawing on my experience in the biofuel industry. Uh, basically, what we're looking at is capitalising the opportunity associated with providing biomass for second generation <coughs> feedstock technologies. So, second generation biofuel technologies as well as exploring the opportunity that it will arise from second, gener <coughs> second generation technologies. Okay, a lot of the way we, we believe that we've developed um, two products of value. The first is our biomass energy crop. We have established in Queensland a biomass energy plantation that uh, yields approximately 20 times the uh, comparable yield for, say, canola conventional energy crops. What I'd like to focus on tonight, though, is our uh, indirectly fired gas turbine engine technology, which is a second generation technology that will utilise biomass energy crops appropriately. So what is an indirectly fired gas turbine engine? Basically what we do is we take a gas turbine engine from known global companies such as Rolls-Royce and Ingersoll Rand, and we rip off the combustion chamber. We then replace that with our own novel combustion technology and a heat exchanger setup, and this is four core advantages. Firstly, it means that we can place a solid fuel burning uh, gas turbine engine into the market, well actually a solid fuel burning energy generation system into the market for approximately half the capex and opex of competing technologies. The second, the second advantage is only clean air passes through the turbine engine, meaning that it has a greatly extended life. We also generate extremely, well we are capable of generating extremely high temperatures in the combustion process, up to 1800 degrees Celsius, which enables us to basically destroy noxious products that might be associated with combustion of waste products. We can burn pretty much any fuel. Okay? We have, this is not, I'd like to make this point very clear, this is not a dream. We actually have designed and constructed an indirectly fired gas turbine engine at our Queensland facility. Okay, so we have one running. This engine runs on biomass, waste products such as wheat hulls, wheat stover, <coughs> feedlot cow manure, dare I say coal, uh, waste oils and so forth. So we have an existing prototype. Uh, what we're actually seeking is uh, $600,000 at a company valuation of $2.5 million. Um, and that's to basically scale up our existing 30 kilowatt unit to a more industry friendly 300 kilowatt unit. Sorry, 250 to 300 kilowatt depending on the turbine technology that we choose. Okay, uh, we will be seeking a further, there will be a further opportunity to raise uh, $3 million for Australia's first biomass energy plantation integrated power plant of approximately 1.5 megawatt capacity. Now I should point out that the first turbine that we manufacture already has a home. We already have a site, we already have the waste products. The first 1.5 megawatt set, in fact, we have enough land available with existing agreements for about 10 to 15 megawatts of on-farm electricity generation. We will be proceeding, we do believe that these technology are, technologies are of value, so we will be proceeding down the uh, intellectual property protection path. And uh, we've also been very busy establishing domestic opportunities. There are many, many, many industries which this technology is appropriate to. Literally hundreds of opportunities in Australia alone. Using my existing contacts in the United States, we've also been exploring potential for the US market in Europe, which is obviously an order of magnitude higher than Australia. Okay, uh, I think my two minutes is up, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, feel free to see me afterwards. And if I don't see you, have a nice drive and a safe drive home.